I realize I may have crossed the line. But it's not like I set something on fire. Which I would never do. I'll pay for the damages. Oh, just as soon as I get access to my accounts again. There were no damages, Dan. Just extra work for my staff. Thank God. I mean, I didn't mean to put them through that. Please, 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 please. I promise you, if you let me stay, I will be on my absolute best behavior. Scout's honor. Best behavior is a given, not a reason. Okay? So, if there is nothing further, checkout time is at 11. Wait, 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 wait. If you kick me out, I will literally be on the streets. Could you imagine me homeless? Part of me wants to, but no. Do you believe in second chances? Yes, I do. But second chances come with conditions. So what do you like on house arrest? Well, technically it would be a hotel arrest, but actually it would be suite arrest. But no, I can leave my room whenever I want. I just have to keep an extremely low profile. Well, that's what you get for traumatizing a young family from Wisconsin. Trauma, please. That was their vacation highlight. But from now on, I'm gonna be like an altar boy. Wait, which one was the innocent one, the choir boy? I never understood how a choir boy can be more innocent than an altar boy. Dan, 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 look. Normally I love living vicariously through your misadventures. Now is not a normal time. What's really on your mind? How bad is it? It's pretty bad. Can I do anything to fix it? <laughs> That's above my pay grade. Prove to the feds you didn't commit fraud. I didn't commit fraud, Sully. And I will prove it. Just as soon as I figure out what they think I did. Well, that'd be a good start. Good luck, man. Dinosaur, but officially the firm is very open about those kinds of things. Legally, they have to be. Dan, I'm literally in the closet. The utility closet, the file room by my desk. I'm not supposed to talk to you. I can get in trouble. I feel like there's a closet police joke in there somewhere, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Dan, you texted me to call you. What do you want? I am going to use you to help me solve a crime. Oh, no. Don't you know a girl who works at the SEC's New York office? Amelia. She was my girlfriend. Girlfriend? That's good. Wait, was? Ex? What happened? I followed your dating advice. I'm gonna blame the execution. We're still friends. Kind of. She might do me a favor. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna share with you my three-part plan to clear Dan's name. One find out what they think Dan did. Two, ascertain whether or not Dan did it. And three, prove Dan did it. Alternatively, find a reason why Dan did it. And what part of Dan's plan am I handling? Oh, all of it. And you? I'm gonna follow the money. Coldest beer you have? Damn, it's still here. Yeah, I'm just gotta keep a super low profile. I'm incognito. I don't want your manager to see me. Oh, Gloria? Don't say her name. She might appear, man. There's something else, Dan. No, I'm fine. 
Just when I'm not in my room, I gotta keep a super low profile, man. You know what I mean? In that outfit. Uh, yeah. It's called reverse chameleon principle. You ever heard of it? Yeah. Stand out to blend in. <laughs> Anyways, if you hurry up and grab me that beer I asked for, maybe a bottle of rum, fill it to my room. Got a tough choice ahead of me. Binge watching home renovation shows or true crime marathon. You know you won't have to wear that crazy outfit if you hit some spots away from the dome. Mm -hmm. You like art? Hiking? Museums? Are you a foodie? Yes. Yeah. Right. There you go. Okay. Got options. Okay, man. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Game on? Oh yeah, Rowdy's playing away. Big one. You want a drink? You know I can find a brochure? They didn't have any up front? Uh, no, I, di I didn't see any. I could show you around. That'd be great. Follow me. Fifteen hundred plastic bottles. Fifteen hundred plastic water bottles are used in the U.S. every second. Time to invest in a water flask. If you want to preserve our mangroves and save these cute little guys, then yeah. You can. Seriously? Go on and touch. You're not going to hurt him. It's not him I'm worried about. I'm pretty sure I removed all the venomous ones. <laughs> I'm Amy. Dan. <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. I better show you those brochures. I've got a class starting soon. A class? Dissecting fish? I am a marine biologist. Oh, man. I mean, kids are dissecting fish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know much about kids, but I heard they're all savages. No, they're not. And it's perfectly safe. You can dissect one, too. Hmm. Well, I am pretty familiar with sitting at the bar, and I do eat a lot of sushi, so, you know. <laughs> OK, folks should be arriving soon. Mostly it's families. What? This is 
is gonna sound strange, but I need to avoid that family. I would love to tell you the whole really funny story over beers, but I cannot be seen by them. Is there an emergency exit? No, but there's an outfit in here. Put it on, meet me in the classroom. Okay. Today, we're gonna learn all about our wonderful local waters and an invasive species that's threatening them because we're gonna be dissecting the ferociously named lionfish with the help of a very special friend. Can you all say hi, Lionfish Larry? Hi, Lionfish Larry! You put on the scuba gear too? You weren't specific. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lionfish Larry has some important facts to share with you. Do you wanna hear those facts? Hey, so can I ask you a question? Do all marine biologists keep dive bags in their classroom? The ones who dive for fun before work do. And uh, do they usually keep men's size wetsuits? They do. If they go diving with their brother. <laughs> you know where to find me, Lionfish Larry. And we'll never be apart. I wanna 